Coming up today on the Leipzig Loco with Lokomotiv, Leipzig there's only 5 games left in the season and we are 3 points behind the teams in the promotion spots and we play 2 of those teams in today's episode, can we get back right in the thick of the promotion fight? Hello everyone and welcome to episode 38 of the Leipzig Loco with Locomotive Leipzig here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and coming up today as I said to potentially of the biggest games in this season late on as we try and make up ground on those teams currently in the promotion spots. We are three points behind down in sixth on the table and we take on St. Pauli in third and Jan Regensburg up in second. So if we can pick up wins in both of these games today we could really make some big ground up on those teams in the promotion hunt and give ourselves a chance of making our way up to the Bundesliga for next season. So if you're looking forward to those two games coming up in today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but we've just played the one game off camera since yesterday's episode with our youth intake as well. Is some disappointing results in the two games that we did play, albeit against decent teams in Werder Bremen and in Nuremberg. If you missed that episode, I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. Thankfully, really good performance coming from 1-0 down to pick up a 3-1 win away at Augsburg. So we've beat those guys both times we've played them now this season. We were 1-0 down at half time, but made some changes during the second half to our lines. We went to a standard defensive line as well as our mid-block, mid-press up front and also brought Julian Weigel off the bench for the last 20 or so minutes in this game and moved him onto an attacking midfielder instead of Cueto and what he was as an enganch and off the bench Weigel had a massive impact off the back of us grabbing an equaliser with 25 minutes left. He scored a goal just after coming off of the bench and then set one up to make sure we did secure all three points Deep in injury time for Mike Owusu, so that was a big performance away from home and does mean we are still in with a small chance of getting ourselves into the promotion hunt at the end of our first season in the two Bundesliga. And a quick reminder of what the table does look like as we ran through before. Three points behind the team we're going to play first in today's episode in St. Pauli. But because of those changes we did make late in that Augsburg game and the fact that it did work out so well off the back of us making them, we have made them now for our team going in to this first game of today's episode. So Cueto now will play as an attacking midfielder after the good work from Weigel in those last 20 or so minutes against Augsburg. And also, in terms of our lines here at Lokomotiv Leipzig, instead of being on a low defensive line and a mid-block, now it's just a standard defensive line, so it's pushing up a little bit more in defence, hopefully that will help us pick up some good results, which we really need to in these two games. In today's episode, because if we can pick up points in these ones, as I said, we give ourselves a really good chance of potentially getting a chance to make our way up to the Bundesliga for next season. First up, we take on St. Pauli earlier in the season. We did lose to these guys, and they actually come into this one off the back of two straight defeats, albeit do find themselves in that promotion playoff spot at the moment. So hopefully we can continue to pile the misery on them and actually string together a decent run of form for the first time in a while. And off the back of that, we will take on Jan Regensburg. We actually bet this team earlier in the season by a scoreline of 1-0, albeit this time it will be away from home. Those guys at that stage were on top of the table. They have now found themselves five points behind Fortuna Dusseldorf, who do look like they are going to run away with the league title with that five-point gap with only five games left. Jan Regensburg really need to start picking up some points in this next patch of games because as you can see in their most recent five, they've only picked up two wins and lost three. So also a team mixing their form a little bit. Very competitive division, as you can tell by the points table. Hopefully we can pick up some points in these games in today's episode, even though both these teams are doing quite well, albeit both of them a lot higher up the table than they were expected to be, much like ourselves here. At Lokomotiv Leipzig, also unfortunately, a few injury and suspension concerns going to this one. Panzo Ernesto still out with that twisted ankle, and Stankovic is also suspended, so hopefully that won't impact us too much. We'll come back shortly with the team sheets, and hopefully start to put some pressure on those teams in those promotion places as we host St. Pauli. 
And here are the team sheets for this first game of today's episode. At home, of course, a few changes for us with the suspension and injury. They're both in defence. Vufak will start at right back. Overall, Nesto and also Leno Labonte is in there for Stankovic. At centre-back, St. Pauli are going with a 4-3-3 formation. We just can't get to work here in the two Bundesliga. Hopefully, our 4-2-3-1 will do a bit better and we can pick up three points here at home. And just shot the 10-minute mark, the first highlight in this game is a free kick here to St. Pauli in the dark uniforms here while we are in our traditional home yellow with the blue shorts and already nice ball played through the air for Tobias Moore and that is a very poor start from us here at home. Eric Vufak already having picked up a yellow card, haven't even got him to ease off tackles yet and that is a poor start to this one, first highlight so far. Not much has happened, I think that was the first shot overall in this game and somehow Moore gets in behind that defence there, down that right hand side our new additions due to the entry and suspensions and already we find ourselves 1-0 down. And just shot the 20 minute mark, the next highlight in this game is a free kick here yet again Moore will line this one up off the back of scoring the opening goal, tried to put that one bottom left corner, thankfully Krapikas though makes a good diving save, does the big Lithuanian in goal for us and off the back of that Moore is yet again on a set piece, it's a corner but thankfully we just do enough to deal with that danger, Voss with a shot but thankfully takes a big deflection and Krapikas can come out and claim that one. And only a minute or two later, now it's a corner for St. Pauli and Igo Ugbu is able to put that one top left corner and it's been a dreadful start here at home and already our promotion hopes might be dead in the water. It's a good quick fire double here to St. Pauli. Not too sure there what the player's doing at that near post in Vufark but unfortunately we are now 2-0 down. And that was it for the first half in this first game of today's episode. A quick fire start there from St. Pauli. And we did absolutely nothing. Three shots but none on target. And quite deservedly find ourselves 2-0 behind here at home. Very disappointing. And a lot of players out there are on poor ratings. We don't really have much of an option in terms of right back replacement. So what we're going to do is take off a struggling Labonte for a Hindu at the back. Vufak off the stay out there on that yellow card, which is not ideal while Ernesto is out with that injury. Also, our entire front three are struggling, so we'll bring on Ziani, Bulland, and Hermel, and hopefully, off the back of a bit of a rev up, we'll kick into gear a bit more in the second half and try and overturn a 2-0 deficit. And only a few minutes into the second half, we we'll start things off in a pretty similar fashion to the first half, St. Pauli here on the ball and making their way inside of the final third. Voss does get in behind there, actually gets a shot off, but thankfully that one does just go wide and we are still 2-0 behind. And up to the hour mark, still 2-0 behind, just that one highlight so far in the second half. Still a few players out there not doing too well. We'll see if what we did in the previous game can work again. Julian Weigel on for Cueto as we need two goals to at least get some points from this game. And just entering the last 10 minutes of this game, we've just gone on to an attacking mindset, but unfortunately we've created absolutely nothing that we've seen so far through a highlight. In this game, St. Pauli have definitely been the better team, picking up a few yellow cards late here as well. Unfortunately, it's been a very timid performance from us here at home, and that is a 2-0 defeat to St. Pauli. They did us early in that first half, quick through ball there to Ma, which he put away, and then Ogbu from a corner not too long off the back of that, and we suffer a pretty fair 2-0 defeat there, as we didn't do anything in front of goal. Definitely felt like we missed the likes of Stankovic and Ernesto at the back in that game, and our attackers yet again did struggle in front of goal, so to be fair, probably not the worst thing if we do spend another season in two Bundesliga with our attack quite timid at the moment. Certainly need to try and find a way to get our scoring goals going in to next season because it's been a big problem here at Lokomotiv Leipzig so far even though we do find ourselves in the top half of the table but now with only four games left in our season we are six points behind St. Pauli and our second opposition in today's episode is must win time for us now and we'll come back shortly and try and get the job done away at Jan Regensburg. And here are the team sheets for the second game of today's episode. It is must win time for us now against the Jan Regensburg team who did win on that first match day of today's episode. They come into this one with a 4-4-2. Hopefully we can beat them like we did back at home earlier this season. Stankovic back in at centre back. Unfortunately though, Ernesto is available but only for about 45 minutes. So he will make his way back 
from the bench, but hopefully an improved performance. We can grab some points here against Jan Regensburg, but really need to win this one. And a very early highlight in this game, shy of the five minute mark first corner here is to the home team, thankfully. We do head that one away, but Atilgen can't quite get there before Jan Regensburg. Long range shot there through Fellhammer, but thankfully that one goes just wide and it is still nil all early. And just shot the 20 minute mark, we get the next highlight of this game. And it's actually a chance for us to finally do something in today's episode through a free kick. Unfortunately, though, Cueto a bit loose on the ball there with that touch. And Jan Regensburg will get a chance here to try and play out from the back, albeit quite close to the halfway line and already make their way into our half ball played over the top there for Gola, and he does get to that before our right back in Vufak put a ball into the mixer and that's a really good save that from Krapakas is able to tip that one just wide of the post and it does go out for a corner in St. Pauli with a 1-0 lead so really it is must win time for us as if that wasn't already the case that ball goes far post thankfully Lucas Search does head that one away and Jan Regensburg go on the retreat just a little bit. Still nil all at the 20 minute mark. And only a few minutes off the back of that previous highlights a free kick this time to Jan Regensburg. See it again so far in this game. We've done absolutely nothing in St. Pauli. Look like they're finding their form at the right time of the season. Gola there, nice ball for Gartung. But yet again, that's a big save there from Krapika so far. Keeping us in this game in the first 20 or so minutes. And thankfully, somehow, this is still nil all. And off the back of that most recent highlight, definitely feels like our mid-press so far is not working. So we're going to go back to how we were playing back when we had this 4-2-3-1 going a bit better in terms of our lines. Standard defensive line, a higher press, and hopefully can get a bit more going. Still nil all halfway through the first half. And not too long off the back of making some changes to our lines, it is here a goal kick in our favour. Hopefully we can finally get a decent shot off in today's episode. I'll bet we're taking our time here to try and play out from the back. Shocker there from Stankovic looking for Kachala, but thankfully Gartung misses an absolute sitter. Somehow, still don't find ourselves behind. And that was it for the first half. In the second game of today's episode, we have been absolutely woeful in these pressure games today. Yet again, no shots on target. And somehow, Jan Regensburg, despite a number of very good chances, have not found a way to put the ball in the back of Nick Krapakas, having a very good game in the first part. Of that first half, we're going to take off here Michael Wusu. He's picked up a little injury. Danny Hummer will come on for him. Also, Ricardo Grimm for Coachella on that yellow card. And Manganelli not doing too well as well. So Ziani can come on for him. And hopefully, off the back of a rev up, our guys will perform a lot better in the second half. And we can hopefully steal a win in this one off the back of a woeful first half. But it's still somehow nil all. And we are coming up to the hour mark in this one. No highlights so far in the second half. Still really struggling to do anything of note. In attack, and Osman Atilgen is down to a 6.4. So Anton Bulland will come on for him. And we're just about to enter injury time in this game. Nothing's happened so far in the second half. I think it's time for us now to go attacking. And also, actually forgot we still have one more substitution. I think what we might do, Julian Weigel yet again, can come on. For Queto, and also we might just try and do some overlapping. I've been playing with a few instructions during the course of the second half to see if that will help. Also, we'll play out of defense and see if on this attacking mindset we can create one chance in this game. It's a very late free kick, though, to the opposition. And to be fair, they really deserve three points from this game. And big chance here for their striker late. But thankfully, Search gets a big foot in the way of that one. We clear it for a throw-in, and you'd like to think that will be all she wrote in this game now that we are over injury time. They put a ball into the mix, thankfully Search heads that one away, Vufak, back to Krapakas, who can claim that in goal, and really, I think he was probably our man of the match in that game, and indeed picks up a 7.3, made some big saves in that first half, and again, unfortunately for us, no shots on target, I believe, in either of the games in today's episode, so really bad performances there in two games we needed significant points from. We technically, with three games left in the season, could still find our way into a promotion spot. But really, I think that's our hopes of promotion done now. Eight points behind St. Pauli with only three games left in the season. I think for us, it will be another season in the two Bundesliga off the back of a lucky nil all draw at Jan Regensburg. And back in the inbox off the back of those two games in today's episode, very disappointing performances again, especially in attack. 
and it does mean that more than likely now, unless an absolute miracle happens, we are going to spend another season in the two Bundesliga, albeit that might not be the worst thing, just build up some more strength in this club, also hopefully get the finances to a better position, because yet again, those are in a bit of trouble, hopefully that gets boosted up at the end of the season, being our first one in the two Bundesliga, and we can maybe go a bit closer to promotion next season, but thankfully at least we have stayed up in the two Bundesliga for this season, can no longer get relegated with only a few games left, albeit we did find ourselves in the top half of the table for most of the season off the back of a worrying start, but unfortunately I do think that means there's not a lot to play for in our remaining three games of the season, also Michael Wusu did pick up an injury in that most recent game, but thankfully it is just a tight groin. He should be back for the next one, albeit, as I said, not too sure how important these last couple of games are going to be. But I think that will do it for today's episode to Big Games, which if we won, we could have found ourselves right back in the promotion hunt, but got absolutely outplayed by both St. Pauli and Jan Regensburg. Thankfully, somehow got a draw out of the latter of those games off the back of a 2-0 defeat to St. Pauli. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. I think tomorrow we'll come back and wrap up the season. I don't think there's going to be a lot to play for in these last three games, as I said, unless an absolute miracle happens with those teams currently in the promotion spots, and even then, there's still a few teams above us who could still outperform us on the table now we find ourselves all the way down in eighth so I think it's fair to say promotion is off the table but I think we'll come back tomorrow and just play that last game of the season hopefully can start to pick up some results against the likes of Ingolstadt and Bochum in the bottom part of the table and we'll come back and take on what could be the champions Fortuna Dusseldorf at our home on the final day of the season, see where we end up and make our way through the end of season review. So they'll be coming up in tomorrow's episode as we will probably spend another season in the two Bundesliga. But until tomorrow for that Fortuna Dusseldorf game and the end of season review, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on and I'll see you then. Cheers. Oh.